but we want to thank our sponsors for making this all happen. The Curacao Tourism Board and the Boardwalk Small Hotel in Aruba, both making sure this could happen for you tonight. And if you're just joining us, we have two crews in Curacao covering their 44th Carnival. That would be Janiel Bonter and Joey Stevens, along with his sidekick, Bob the Parrot. And we have our Marley Hall down in Aruba for their 60th Carnival. Aruba's celebrating 60 years of history and fun. Now let's turn it over to our Molly Hall, who's right in the middle of all that fun. Marley, tell us all about it. Hi, Lila. Every carnival must have a queen. And the carnival queen here in Aruba is a local celebrity. A few days ago, I got the chance to sit down with this year's carnival queen, Zuria Fleming. But I also spoke with Deanira Frank. She is the carnival queen from 1999, and she's just as fabulous as the day she won that crown. Take a look. Hi, everyone. I'm Marley Hall here in Aruba with Deanira Frank. She is the Carnival Queen of 1999. So tell me, how did you win that title? Well, it was a nice competition, a tough one. We were at that time, uh, I think about 13 candidates. I was number three and it was pretty much a tough competition. Wow. Yes. So what gave you the edge over all the other ladies? Well, I think uh, what a Carnival Queen election has to focus on is the elegance and the way you present yourself. And uh, I guess I did, I did the best. <laughs> well, you are very beautiful, so I see why you won. Thank you very much. So what does the Carnival Queen actually have to do? Well, um, at that time, now they have changed it pretty much, but at that time, um, the competition took place the Friday before the Grand Parade. So pretty much you had uh, the Friday of the competition, and then immediately afterwards you had both uh, Grand Parade in San Nicolas and Orionstadt. And it was pretty much tough. I mean, you, you're very tired after the election, the whole preparation, and then afterwards you don't get a chance to, to relax. It's immediately work, 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 work. and. Uh, Pretty much after that, um, Aruba at that time didn't, uh, no candidates were sending abroad to represent the island on other carnival um, queen elections. So what advice would you give to the current carnival queen? Well, um, I'm sure she's a very beautiful one. I've seen her, I know her, and uh, she had a great team behind her for the whole period, for the whole preparation. Um, just be who you are, um, don't change. I think uh, she has a great charisma, and uh, I think that will make her that as soon as she has the opportunity to go abroad to represent Aruba, that, will, that, that can bring her another title. Deanira Frank. Yes. Thank you so much. I love Thank that name. Much. I'm Marley Hall in Aruba for One Caribbean Television. I'm really enjoying the sights and sounds here in Aruba. One thing I noticed was all the coconut trees. Now, you know, back home, coconuts are all the rage because they are a superfood because of all the antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. So around here, they give you vitamin water. Now, I met a very funny vendor who says it is the fountain of youth. Check it out. Everywhere you turn in Aruba, you see coconuts. Coconuts are all the rage back in the U.S. since it is considered a superfood. It is popular here in Aruba with the tourists as well. Although it has been dispelled, legend has it that it is the fountain of youth. In recent years, coconut water has been marketed as a natural energy or sports drink due to its high potassium and mineral content. These claims are largely unfounded as well. I met up with a funny vendor who calls himself Dr. Coco and still preaches its benefits. So is this coconut the fountain of youth or what? The coconut water, my friends, you got everything in here. Everything, electrolyte, for your circulation, for your blood circulation, everything. You see Jonathan? He's drinking one a day. Keep it, it's 120 years right now. He still can go for more. Wow. Like more. Can you believe that? That's, <laughs> how, that's how all the Rubens keep young. They drink yes. coconut water every day. You're right, you're right. So it's a fountain of youth that no one knows about. Right. And then all, right now, also in America, it's turning really famous, the coconut water. You got bite the cocoa there. But here we got Dr. Coco. He's gonna be all boost up for tonight. Let's boost you up. Really? That's right. <laughs> so this is the Aruban Viagra, is that what you're saying? Aruba and liquid. Zero prescription, won't touch your heart. <laughs> Just the hammer. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I know you're very busy here, so thank you so much. And by the way, why do they call you Dr. Coco? Because I'm the doctor here. I got to tell the 
miracle water. You've been doing it so leader. long, you're the doctor. I'm the doctor. The terminal doctor just, I'm selling the coconut water. That's why. And how many years have you been doing this for? Like eight years. Eight years. You could have gotten two doctorates with that. And this is grandma recipe. Remember that grandma died 20 years ago, but the recipe is still alive. And how old was she? 500 years old? Yes. Okay. <laughs> from Aruba. One happy island. I don't have to say anything. Dr. Will Gibbs reporting from Aruba. Sounds like I need to get some of this vitamin water for the Fountain of Youth. Thanks, guys. And now let's send it to our Janiel Bonter and Joey Stevens, who are in Curacao. Hey, guys, what's going on? Two minutes, Riff Museum, two minutes. And then talk Welcome back, everybody, to Curacao. I'm Joey Stevens along with Junio Von Terre, and we're so glad that you'd be with us as we continue with Carnival Week here on One Caribbean Television. Yep. And uh, again, a good day today, an exciting day. day. We got one more if the energy continues. I saw you busting a move today. You saw <laughs> me getting kids. down, didn't you? I'm Listen. thinking to myself, where do you get the energy after four days? <laughs> Curacao is such good, clean fun. <laughs> I mean, it's great to see people getting into it, but there's so much else to explore and experience in Curacao. You got to come check it for yourself. The shopping is great. Uh, there's a wonderful uh, destination called the Rift Museum. Uh, yeah. It's beautiful over there. It's actually a 19th century landmark, yeah. and it's been designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So you can imagine there's a lot going on. There's a lot of history there. Now it has some of the finest high-scale shopping. You've got fine dining. Uh, you've got live entertainment happening there on a daily basis. We've got a chance to check it out yeah. and catch up with some of the good people over there. The Rift Museum is also part of the uh, Rift Fort, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're familiar and spend any time in the Caribbean, you know all the islands have forts that protected the, the main waterways and uh, uh, the areas where the ships came in when the, they did the, the cargo and uh, the shipping back when. And uh, a lot of those forts are still standing today, which is absolutely fabulous. Curacao, you had mentioned, though, the number of things here. The, the Swinging Old Lady is a traditional bridge here that actually opens it's up. It's not really an old lady. No, it's swinging. not an old lady. We don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> but that's what they call her. She was built in 1888. Yeah. And uh, again, started out with foot traffic and horse traffic and eventually now uh, with cars, but no longer just back to uh, foot traffic. There's so much to see yeah. here. Yeah. So much to see, but tell them a little bit about the Rift. Oh, well, I enjoyed the Rift thoroughly. I did a little shopping myself. Yeah. You know, I like to support the local, the local economy, <laughs> but we had a great time over there. You know what? Check it out for yourself. Let's yeah. find out more about it. I'm here with Yosin, the owner of Jewel Lines, one of the most fabulous jewelry stores I've ever seen in the Caribbean. Yosin, thanks for having us in. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Tell us about the store and the different lines that you carry. Uh, much of the lines are from Europe. We have uh, different uh, watches from Europe, from Sweden, from Germany, the design watches. We have um, special uh, steel artist from Holland. He makes uh, the steel uh, jewelry, Mr. Pastoor. That's his name, a real Dutch name. I love his work. He's got some very original pieces. It's like art jewelry. Really art, yes. So your focus is on unique pieces for that unique shopper. We, ha we are focused on for every budget something uh, that you have to do in this time. Because we have um, also jewelry, you can change the stone, like this. You can put the stone of it and you take another stone on. We have uh, like that, um, that uh, you, 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 no, yes, you can buy a pendant, really silver, with a gold uh, plating. And then you can change the inside. So a lot of your pieces, you can personalize them and make them your own. Now, how do the customers enjoy shopping here? Yes, they like it. And most of the Americans, they say, oh, it's different, it's different. <laughs> I it's like to be a little bit different. That's the story. Well, you're from Holland. Holland is different by itself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. And how long have you been in Curacao? 36 years. And how do you like living in Curacao? It's nice to live here. The climate is nice, we are used to it. And uh, we have not so many stress. Uh, it is um, it's easy. It's Caribbean living. 
Yes, and tell us about Carnival Week. What can we look forward to with all the excitement at Carnival? So beautiful. It, it is also different, I think, than... Uh, but the people here, they work all two, three, four uh, weeks for making their costume. They make them by themselves. And it is uh, a big event. Yeah. And how's Carnival in Curacao for business? <laughs> we hope that we hope that's okay. And you're getting a purchase here for sure, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for having us in your beautiful store, and we look forward to seeing you on the streets, enjoying yourself. Okay. Thank you very much, and thank you for the interview. Uh, Josine was great. We had a good time with her at the jewelry line store at the Renaissance Mall. And ladies, trust me, you will not be disappointed. The shopping is on point in Curaçao. They yeah. feature some of the best high-end European brands and some of the best local and Caribbean brands. And yeah, I'm definitely coming back for the a shopping. A lot of great local stuff too, right? <laughs> great local stuff. Yeah. And again, the Renaissance Mall features everything. They've got over 50 restaurants, yeah. or, or yeah. rather over 15 restaurants, over 50 stores. Just a lot going on here in Willemstad. And for those of you just joining us, we are live on One Caribbean TV, and you can catch us online at onecaribbeantelevision.com. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to the studio now. I'm going to throw it back to my colleague, John Stalin. And I, of course, understand John and Lila and I have been talking smack about my tan, which I think has greatly improved here. I have only one question for you guys. I know this is the first night of the show. There was a bottle of rum on the news desk, <laughs> and it hasn't been there ever since. Where did that go? Where did the rum go, huh? Uh, Where did it go, John? <laughs> well, you really should ask Lila that and in, in all honesty just a few moments ago I was in her office and uh, that bottle was only half full um, I'm gonna show it to you she doesn't know it well she's probably listening but we'll find that bottle for you we we'll take a look what happened uh, when I visited Aruba we have a lot of little iguanas that uh, like to run around uh, here in Aruba and this is one that uh, is actually my Walt uh, my wallpaper on my computer very cool very cute they run around there they're very uh, don't worry don't be frightened they're, they don't they're more frightened than you because you're much bigger than most of them and they just run away but uh, these are some of my pictures that I take uh, that I took over there in Aruba very nice place very nice people out there in Aruba and in Curacao hopefully I'll get there one day not necessarily for the shopping no offense I, I don't wear the bling so much but nonetheless you know something for mom maybe uh, Aruba and Curacao you kind of mirror images right now temperatures right around 26 way it's been for much of the week is that we're seeing some cloudiness uh, moving on in especially the northern parts of Curacao and Aruba we're looking at some clearing skies as well so all in all a pretty fantastic Fantastic night if you're heading out and about. Still relatively early out there. As I remember in Aruba, there's a bonfire at the end of the beach near the Holiday Inn. I think that's a nightly uh, thing, and people from all over the world come and gather. It's kind of cool. You just sit there and talk. Big bonfire, and uh, who knows? You may make a friend for life out there. Here's a big picture as we take a look at your satellite right now. Big concern out here into... Um, Jamaica, a little instability floating on through. Could have seen a few showers a little bit early on, especially into the eastern portions towards uh, Kingston, up towards Ocho Rios as well. So uh, keep an eye on that for you out there. Big picture, though, uh, we're looking pretty good. Pretty stable air. Water temperatures are pretty good as well, keeping the uh, storm threats down. Temperatures are still pretty warm into San Salvador and into Managua as well, where we're seeing temperatures into the mid 30s, especially in the Managua. Back into the ABCs, we're looking good. Temperatures into the low 30s in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're looking good there as well as we see temperatures pretty comfortable into the middle 80s with lots of sunshine as we head on into manana. Of course, you can always find your forecast in line 24 hours a day at onecaribbeantelevision.com. You can just click on that, download the OCTV app as well onto your smartphone. And if you want to watch Carnival on the go or catch up with what we're doing here, you can see me just a few seconds ago. onecaribbeantelevision.com. Just let the homepage start. A, a little commercial will run and then all of a sudden the live carnival will pop on up. In just a few moments we'll have more on Carnival 2014 in just a few moments.
negro y honesto. Responsable y servicial. Semper clap ayuda a otro. So I say, let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces she'll liat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm, must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> Liat.com. What else do you need? La Meca del Surfing en el Caribe ha tenido 24 campeones. Buscamos el número 25. Si eres fanático del surfing profesional, tírate para Playa Domus en Rincón. 7, 9 de marzo y pasa a Chile en la edición número 25 del Corona Extra Pro Surf Circuit. Corona Extra. Transforma tus momentos. Auspician. I'm Kara Coleman here at Toro Verde. You're watching One Caribbean Television. Welcome back to Carnival Week on One Caribbean Television. Let's head back down to Curacao with our Joey Stevens and Janiel Bonter. Guys, take it away. Kunta bai dushi. We are in Curacao and I am definitely getting my papia mento on, learning some new good. words. Yeah, You're making good. some new friends. Yeah. You know dushi means sweetie. Yes. Dushi hende means sweet people. Yes. Kunta bai means what's up. Right. What else? The number seven is shete. <laughs> 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 and we're having a ball yeah, here in Curacao. You know, now that we know what's happening with the rum, I think we're yeah. going to send the team back at the studio a bottle of blue Curacao. Oh, just, just to get the balance going, they you know? that real quick, didn't they? <laughs> 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 we were on the street today. Of course, uh, today was the parade for the, uh, for the juniors. It was the farewell parade as they said goodbye. And at the end, they uh, burned... Uh, Momo, the king, and that mm. will happen again tomorrow with the adults as they go on the street. Of course, we'll have that all for you. We've got a lot of action still coming up. Today was kind of interesting because uh, we were we were walking down the street. We're looking for uh, different packages to do. I saw this float with a little girl, cutest little girl, and she so was waving cute. at Bob the parrot. And she was one of the queens. And I thought, okay, I'll go up and talk to her. Well, working with kids, you never know what's going to happen. And I want you to watch this next segment because this little girl was absolutely darling. But she kind of froze up on me a little bit, I think. Yeah. But God bless yeah. her. She was sweet. Let's take a look at it right now. Hi, everybody. This is one of the best parts of the break, getting to hang out with the beautiful ladies. What's your name? My name? And are you the queen? Yes. Wow, you look so beautiful in your costume. Did you make this costume yourself? Did you? And do you, are, do you enjoy walking and waving to all the people? Did you do this again the other, is this the second time you get to do this? Yes. Yeah. So, where, what grade are you in? Huh? What grade? How old are you? Okay, I won't ask any more tough questions. Are you having a good time? Are you? Are these friends of yours that are on the on the float? Are they? Yeah. How did you get to be the queen? How did you get to be the queen? Did you have to compete against other girls, or were you selected? You don't understand the question? Okay. Well, you look absolutely beautiful. Give a big wave to everybody. Wave to everybody. <laughs> anyway, we're at the Juniors Parade in uh, Curacao, and we're having a good time. I, I feel so bad because I don't think she understood a lot of what I was If I was speaking to Papio, she probably would have understood me completely. Anyway, a great crowd here today, and uh, they are really enjoying themselves. And I love being with the kids because the kids really are energetic and really, really get into it. You having a good time? You having a good time? You having fun? <laughs> They're smiling. They're having a good time. They're wondering, who's the guy with the parrot? And what's he doing on our float? Anyway, 
Don't forget now, we're going to be here again uh, tomorrow night. We're going to be broadcasting as we will continue with the adult parade. And you're seeing it all right here on One Caribbean Television. All right, Joey. Marley Hall introduces us to this year's 2014 Carnival Queen. That story is when we come back. Hi everybody, I'm Joey Stevens, and when I'm in Trinidad, where do I stay? Only one place, the Hyatt Regency Trinidad. We have a variety of rooms to choose from. We have king rooms, double bedrooms, um, deluxe rooms, which include a balcony so that you oh. can overlook the, the water yeah. or the city or the pool. Well, we are primarily um, a business and conference hotel, right. so we have 43,000 square feet of meeting space which includes 12 breakout rooms and two ballrooms. And the rooms come with Wi-Fi, technology, translation facilities, exhibition space, um, you name it, we, we, we can provide it. I think it's important that we talk a little bit about your location because I know uh, you're very unique here. Yes, we are. We are the only hotel in Port of Spain that's on the waterfront, so you get great views of the Gulf of Faria or the city views. You can see the water taxis pass by because we are near to the Port Authority, and you can also see the ferry that comes in and goes out. And very close to everything, especially downtown here in, in this area. Yes, we're in the heart of downtown Port of Spain, so it's close to restaurants, attractions, activities, um, dining, nightlife. So when travelers or businessmen or women come to Trinidad, where should they stay? The Hyatt Regency Trinidad. Honesto, responsable y servicial, siempre clap ayuda a otro. Tatushi pata un chiende. Welcome back to Carnival Week here on One Caribbean Television, the only network bringing you Carnival Week live and Carnival, where you're home for Carnival. This year we're featuring, featuring Curacao and Aruba, thanks to our good friends at the Curacao Tourism Board and the Boardwalk Small Hotel in Aruba, both making sure this could happen for you. Now, earlier in the week, Joey visited a historic museum in Curacao. Let's turn it over to him. We're at the Cura Hulanda Museum in Curacao, more commonly known as the Slave Museum, which houses uh, one of the largest collections of artifacts and replicas of slave paraphernalia and history. It has quite a large collection. Uh, it includes uh, KKK outfits and uniforms. Uh, it has numerous torture devices, which are just unfathomable when you look at them. And uh, the basement has been converted into a slave quarters, so you actually get to see what the slaves actually had to endure as they came across on the ships many times from Africa. Give you a little bit of history. The Dutch West Indies Company actually established Curacao as a major slave hub in about 1662. And this continued for some 200 years, believe it or not, until about 1863. That's when the Dutch abolished slavery. The island itself had become so embroiled in slavery and uh, the trafficking that uh, actually the economy went uh, into the, actually to the dumps until about 1914 when oil was discovered. It's interesting that the last ship to bring slaves from Africa actually came in 1775 to Wilmstead, the capital. Again, as we come here today and you walk around, it's just hard to fathom the inhumanity towards man and how people could treat other human beings this way. But I think by being here, this really pays tribute to the people who suffered uh, by being here and uh, acknowledging what happened and seeing what happened in Curacao at the Slave Museum.
Boston Carnival Queen comes from a long line of queens. Her mother and her sister won the crown before her. That's why Zuria Fleming is known as the Legacy Queen. I met up with her for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. That's right, me and the Queen hanging out. Take a look. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Marley Hall here in Aruba. And you know it's Carnival Week and I'm here with a Carnival VIP. This is Zuria Fleming. She is the Diamond Queen of the Aruba Carnival election. That is a very big title. How did you get it? Um, I get it because uh, I have worked for it and my mom was a uh, queen in 1981 and 1988. And my sister also won Diamond Queen of Carnival 50. So it runs in the family? Yes, yes. I have a lot of cousins that went to home for the Carnival Queen election. And you also have to be beautiful? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's not. You have to be beautiful, but you have to have the spirit of Carnival and to dance and to teach. You know the things of Carnival. You have to have it in your body and so. How long does it take to get ready? Um, two year, two um, hours, yes, to get. Wow, two hours to get ready every day. Yes, yes. But not every day you have to dress like this. If you have um, activity to go, you have like to dress, dress like this, but not everywhere. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> Thank you. Marley Hall in Aruba with the Carnival Queen, One Caribbean Television. When we come back, John will have a check of that forecast. From Baratina in Old San Juan, home of the Pina Colada. You like that, don't you? How many of those are you going to drink? So I say, let's plan our vacation, and suddenly everyone's on liat.com. My wife announces she'll liat.com, a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls. Hmm, must hide credit card. The kids want to liat.com fun activities, and since someone has to be the sensible one, I'll liat.com flights, our travel insurance, and a car. Well, sort of sensible. <laughs> Liat.com. What else do you need? La Meca del Surfing en el Caribe ha tenido 24 campeones. Buscamos el número 25. Si eres fanático del surfing profesional, tírate para Playa Domus en Rincón. 7, 9 de marzo y pasa a Chile en la edición número 25 del Corona Extra Pro Surf Circuit. Corona Extra. Transforma tus momentos. Auspicia. I'm Kara Coleman here at Toro Verde. You're watching One Caribbean Television. Welcome back. We're taking a look at the uh, weather out here in Aruba and Curacao together, of course, and uh, things looking uh, pretty good. We're seeing lots of coverage of clouds over here. This is Venezuela, my friends. And if you watch me regularly, I tell you that the bigger land masses normally are going to generate a little bit more weather. And this is kind of what we're seeing now with those clouds forming right over the, uh, I guess this would be the peninsula of uh, Venezuela, just uh, I think 15 kilometers from Aruba or so. So really a short boat, boat ride over. You got some uh, clouds hanging over Aruba right now. It looks like the uh, rain free clouds and that of course good news and it looks like some higher elevations a little bit more um, vegetation out here. You can see where it's a little bit greener. We're seeing a little bit more moisture. That means we'll see a little bit more clouds as well. Hmm, nifty, isn't that? But we're staying dry and that of course good news as we head into Aruba. 26 degrees average temperature 30 degrees. We're pretty close to that uh, during the daytime. Here's our sunset here in Aruba earlier this evening. Fantastic dry out there and you can see here in the pond 
elm trees that they're not moving too much or they're kind of straight up. Therefore, we're not seeing much in the way of winds and we know that Aruba does feel those trade winds. It's a breezy place. And if you ever head there, maybe a little extra hairspray. Keep it under three ounces, of course. You don't want it to take away by the TSA.